Today I will show you how you can achieve a comic style drawing in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun episode. So today we'll have a lot of fun turning our photos into a comic style drawing in Photoshop. And before we start, I just want to say that this episode is sponsored by Hostinger. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and today I will use this photo of my friend Milena. She doesn't have such a big ears, it's just for fun here for photo shooting. We'll use this photo to apply this uh, comic style drawing. And first thing that you need to do before you start applying the effect is to extract your subject, your model out of the background because you don't want to mess with the background to have some artifacts there. So as you can see, I already did it. I extracted her and I have her on a separate layer and that's it. And also make sure not to use like really small resolution files because the effect will not be so good. So make sure that you use files at least 1500 pixels and more. Okay, so first thing that I want to do here is just to duplicate the layer in case I mess something up to have a backup, I will press Ctrl or Command J and this is it. And now the whole point is to be able to apply this filter, filter ga gallery, artistic and cut out effect. But here now we don't have too much details in the hair and the eyes, etc. I don't like it. So we need to prepare the photo for that filter. And to do that, I will go to filter stylize diffuse and I want to apply here this anisotropic mode but now as you can see before and after almost nothing happens just the slightly blurred parts on the face so again we need to prepare the photo for this effect first so to be able to use this, this effect we need to sharpen this photo a lot and you know, in Photoshop, you can do the same thing in several different ways. So you can sharpen the image however you want. I will go to filter and sharpen and use unsharp mask, or I can go to uh, filter and camera row filter and sharpen it here. Let me show you, I will do both. Why not? So I can go here and just sharpen it a bit like this. Also, I want to open the shadows, add a little bit of texture and clarity. Why not? just to have a little bit more brighter with more details and then go sharpen unsharp mask and just crank the radius. I really want those artifacts as you can see. So this is before and after and this is like regular photo and this is with a lot of crazy things going on but we need this in order to apply the effect. All right now let's go to filter stylize diffuse and choose this anisotropic and press OK. And as you can see, now we have some lines here, those lines all over the photo. And uh, we don't like that. We want to uh, go around this and to make these lines disappear. And I want to apply this effect several more times. So to be able to do this, this we need to rotate image each time we apply the effect. So this is first time, then we go to image, rotation, clockwise 90 degrees, then apply the effect filter and just press Ctrl or Command F. To repeat the effect. Okay, then again, rotation, oops, sorry, rotation, clockwise, control or command F, and a few more times until we get the full circle. So one more time, and control or command F to apply this effect. And now, as you can see, we have, let me show you, before and after, we have a lot of these crazy uh, lines, artifacts are happening on the face. It's Look, look at the hair. Look here before and after. It's already looking like it's some kind of the drawing effect applied here. So this is our starting position and this is what I like. But now the image is a little bit blurry. I want to sharpen it back a little bit. So I will go again to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, but not so much this time. I will lower the radius a bit, lower the amount, something like this. And this is cool. Also now I want to apply the oil effect. So filter, stylize, oil paint effect. And for this image I will use stylization 4. This is 10 and this doesn't matter. So this is how I like it. Of course you can go more. If you want this kind of effect you can go less. If you want that. But I really like something around the 4 for this kind of image. Every image will be different. Press OK. And uh, this is our starting position. And now we finally prepared our image for that uh, cutout. Oh, no, I'm recording. Cutout effects. 
Oh, it's a sponsor time. But I don't need this. So if you ever thought about creating a website to put your portfolio online or to set up an online store to sell your merchandise or even to host a game on a server for the lowest price possible, Hostinger has everything that you need. They're offering uh, web hosting services that are extremely easy to use with a really great user experience. And they're really fast and affordable. The hosting plan starts at $0.8 per month, so just 80 cents per month. Also, they're offering a cloud hosting services, so for example, you can host a game and store your or your users' data in the cloud. They are really easy to use, the hosting panel is clean, light and really intuitive. Their website builder will make your life much easier. You can set your own WordPress website or you can choose one of their templates. Also, you can install a lot of useful applications with practically just one click to give your website some really cool capabilities. Also, guys, don't forget to use my code Nemanja for up to 91% off of hosting your plans. And you have the link down in there in the description that you can follow and to get all these benefits. Right, guys, now let's go back to the tutorial. We just prepared the image for that uh, cutout filter, so let's go and apply it. So first I will duplicate this layer one more time, Control or Command J, then go to Filter, Filter Gallery and go to Artistic and choose Cutout. Let's zoom this. And this is much better. Now we have more details in the hair, in the face, etc. So I really like it. And the numbers here, I like to go all the way, maximize the details. If you want less details, it's up to you. This is completely optional, guys. You can experiment how the image will look like if you use less details or add smart uh, simplicity. You can use simple edges, as you can see right here. You can do whatever you want, some crazy stuff like this. But for this, I want to go all the way up and all the way down with simplicity. Press OK, and this is what we have. Now I will go and duplicate this one more time. So Control or Command J, and I will smudge this these edges a little bit. So I will go with the filter noise, reduce noise. And I will go with the strength all the way to the maximum and everything else will be zeroed. Press OK and you can see it's better, but I will apply this effect a few more times. So Control Command F to apply it one more time and Control or Command F to apply it one more time and this is cool. But now I want to use the layer mask and to bring back the eyes with the black color right here and just paint over it. I like to have details back in the eyes and also lips. I want to bring back this, maybe eyebrows a little bit and also hair. I don't want my hair to be blurred and smudged out. So I just want this. Okay. This is cool. I really like it. And now let me see. Now what I like to do is to go to this one, to this layer where we already prepared the image for that cutout filter. And I want to press and hold our option key and just drag it above everything to make a copy of it here and put it into soft light blending mode and lower the opacity a little bit, however I like it. So this is before, this is after. With this, we are getting more contrasty uh, look and a little bit more saturated and this is how I like. Okay, now I want to uncheck this layer and merge everything together with Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. All right, I have just the copy, merge copy of all these layers down below and I want to apply stylize all paint one more time, just a little bit because I like it, something like this. Press OK, that's cool. Yes, and now what I like to do, I like to make a copy of this layer, layer that we prepared for the cutout filter one more time, drag it right here, okay, and go to filter, filter gallery, and go all the way to sketch and photocopy, all right? And make sure, before going here, let me just show you, make sure that you have black and white as default colors in case you have something else, just some other colors, and go back to that filter gallery, stylize a sketch and photocopy, you will have different colors uh, for this effect and you don't want that. So you want black and white, so press D to go to default colors. Okay, and now we'll go to sketch, photocopy, and here we can choose the amount of details we want to see here. I want to all the way to maximum and darkness, two is okay. And I will press okay, and here, 
now we have like a drawing effect this is really cool if you want to achieve this kind of effect photocopy filter is really cool but i want to put this into multiply blending mode as you can see before and after to just add more contrast to those edges so this is cool and maybe i want to lower the opacity a bit so something like this looks looks pretty nice and now again i want to merge everything together with shift Control, alt e or shift command option in a mac to have everything in a separate layer and go back to filter filter gallery and this time i want to go to halftone pattern like this as you can see and this is something that i really like to have in that comic style drawing all right and you can choose the size of these dots you can choose circle doesn't have sense lines maybe if you want some kind of hologram effect and dots and uh, contrast of course but i will go with something around six or seven so this is cool press ok and now i will go with this into soft light blending mode and also i will double tap on this layer and use blend if in case you don't know how to use the blend if and what a blend if is you can watch my full tutorial about that on the link right here and you will be clear about this option so i just want to remove i don't want to see this effect on the darker parts of the below layer so something like like this would be cool and press ok and that's it i will bring back my background okay something like this and uh, i will just merge everything together into one new layer go to filter go to camera row filter and finalize everything here so i will add more contrast i will open the shadows a little bit also i can change the white balance add a bit of textures and clarity also i want to add a lot of sharpening again something like this maybe some vignetting right and also i can add a little bit of the bluish in the shadows and maybe some orangey in the highlights like like this this is cool this is what i like and just play and do whatever you want this is something maybe more saturation some dehaze and this is it let's press ok so this is what we uh, we started with this photo and this is our final result so before and after i really like the effect you can play and uh, you can even go now with again filter filter gallery and choose back artistic cutout and play with before applying these dots you can play and maybe reduce some details if you want different kind of effect as you can see right here just um, imagine that there are no these dots here but with the dots it's again interesting and play with this kind of effect if you want something like that etc but this is the result that i was searching for and i really like this Alright guys, so that's it for today. I really hope that you liked this episode and that you learned something new and cool. So now go and try to transform your photos into this comic style effect in Photoshop. Have fun, experiment and in case you have any questions regarding to this episode, just leave me down the comment in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Also guys, make sure to check out the link down there in the description to get uh, up to 91% of discount on hosting gear with my coupon code. It's Nemanja. And also, if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page and also you will get some things in return there, like my PSD files, etc. Just go and check it out. If you like this content, if you appreciate this episode, just press the like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already. And also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.